Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Desert Willow Debs. If you're new here, I talk about all things Arizona, life, lifestyle, travel, etc. And uh, I'm starting to talk a little bit more about Dallas per subscriber request. So this video, I'm going to be talking about um, Dallas versus Phoenix, Arizona. It's been, it was the most requested video, so I am doing it. Also, if you are not connected with me yet, I am on Instagram at Deborah Kabong. So go ahead and connect with me there. I always answer you guys' questions and I'm always happy to. So I'll put the link below at Deborah Kabong. All right, let's get into it. Some of you know that I used to live in Dallas, Texas. Well, in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Uh, I lived there from age 10. Well, okay, I don't want to tell you my age. So let's just say I, <laughs> I lived there from 1999 until 2013. So I pretty much grew up in Texas. I'm a Texas girl, ride or die all day, every day. And then uh, in 2013, I went ahead and moved to Arizona when I got married. So in Dallas, Texas, I lived, um, my family and I, we lived in a couple of neighborhood, you know, cities. So we lived in Hearst and then we moved to Irving and then we lived in Arlington slash Mansfield. Now in Arizona, I have lived in Avondale and now I am in Goodyear. Okay. So I've lived here for quite some time. So I feel, I feel that I am at a point where I can make a fair assessment on both cities. Uh, a lot of you come to my channel because either you're interested in moving to Arizona, Phoenix area, or Dallas, okay? Because I have a few videos on Dallas as well. Uh, it's been requested to post more Dallas videos, so I'll, I'll do my best. But I wanted to do a fair comparison because you guys have asked me so many times, which one do I prefer? Should I move to Dallas? Should I move to uh, Arizona? Blah, blah, blah. So anyway, so... I'm going to walk you through a few things to consider. All right. So first thing, let's talk about cost of living comparison between Phoenix and Dallas. So I'm going to show you on the screen what's, you know, what I'm reading and we'll kind of compare. All right. So let's start with restaurants. As you can see here, um, it's fairly similar. Okay. For example, a meal at an inexpensive restaurant in Phoenix, the average you're looking at is $12 and Dallas is $14. Uh, meal for two people in Phoenix, it's $60 and in Dallas, it's $55, okay? So on and so on. For coffee, for a cappuccino, for example, $4.17 and in Dallas, is $4.13. So the cost of living is really similar. Um, when a lot of people ask me about restaurants and food, I'm like, mm, it's really about the same. You know, just maybe a few dollars or a few pennies off, but it's about the same. Uh, if you look here, markets, you know, as far as grocery shopping, it's once again, it's, it's about the same. Look for a gallon of milk. You're looking at two seventy three in Phoenix. And you're looking at the exactly the same in Dallas. OK, so it's really, really the same. So I'm not going to read everything here. Let's move it down. Transportation. Uh, for one-way ticket transport, let's say for a bus, you're looking at $2 in Phoenix and you're looking at $3 in Dallas. Now, the thing that you have to note about transportation is that as far as public transportation, you're way better off in Dallas than Arizona. Hmm. Let me think about that again. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah I, I stick to that. I feel like the bus route system is a little bit more established in Dallas fort worth versus phoenix and just i mean just to be frank both cities are not really we're not really built around public transportation so if you're looking at taking the bus for example to xyz to xyz i mean you're going to be on a bus for a minute for either both cities unless like you're in the downtown area where in phoenix we have the what do we call it again the skyline i forgot what it's called and uh you know downtown uh dallas They've gotten better about their, uh, yeah, I've seen so much progress. Last time I was there, I was like, whoa, what's happening here? I was on a trolley. There was like, you know, the whole bus train thing system happening. Like, I mean, 
Dallas is always upgrading and there's always construction. I mean, this is a big city and their downtown is a whole lot bigger and better than Phoenix. Phoenix has come a long way when it comes to downtown. A lot of times when people come in downtown Phoenix, they're like, oh, this is it. <laughs> but we have come a long way and I love our small, cozy downtown. Okay. But I ain't gonna lie. Dallas is on a whole lot of other level when it comes to downtown uh last time i was there i was driving and i wanted to cry like uh, i don't remember this thing you know so big and confusing the roads are bigger the construction i mean it's texas texas is bigger in general anyway so um yeah i got i got carried away i was talking about transportation uh then monthly pass it seems to be you know seems to be higher in dallas as far as transportation goes gas is about the same utilities okay so phoenix says basic for example for electricity heating blah 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 you're looking at about 172 versus dallas is 154 okay now i just want to say that it, this is really just basic information because it really depends on what kind of house you have for example here i will give myself as an example we live in a uh, 3600 square footage home right so uh summers are longer in phoenix so for us summer runs from march until right about october and you're cranking that ac all day long so you have a big house like ours and let's say you're occupying the space sometimes you know the bill can go up between 300 and 500 easily because whew, it's hot but the thing is that we save a lot of we save money um during winter or fall winter like right now october soon we'll be turning off the ac and we probably won't be turning it back on until march okay um it doesn't get so well it depends it gets really cold january and february to where you do have to turn on the heater but the other months it's you know and it's not all day it's like maybe in the evening it gets super cold and that's it so you're not really cranking the ac um and the heater like that all year long so you're saving money part of the year and in texas yeah it gets cold it gets pretty cold in the winter i mean i'm not talking about east coast cold but it gets cold to where you do have to turn on the heater maybe not all through winter but for a couple of months a couple of several weeks it does get cold um, now, when it comes to the the weather in Texas, it's we call it the weather is really bipolar. Everybody who lives in Texas, or you know Dallas Fort Worth area, we know that Dallas, Texas has a bipolar weather. So you may get out today and it's hot, and tomorrow it's raining. The day after that, you have a tornado, and then after that, oh, oops, look, snow. <laughs> so that's Texas for you. You never know. You you just don't know what you're gonna get. Uh, if we're, if we're we're gonna stay on the subject of weather the weather uh, phoenix like i said you got you, it's either really hot or it's either not hot okay it does get cold super early in the morning like you know like january i think january and february february generally is the is the coldest month in in, Ar in phoenix arizona uh, yeah we do sometimes get you know in the in, in the 30s you know but it doesn't last all day long the sun eventually comes out now in dallas texas it does get cold uh snow occasionally but it's not like a everyday thing on occasion it's really rare but it does get icy uh now the thing is that in dallas texas we're not prepped like other you know major cities that have snow all the time so whenever there's snow and it's icy everything is closed like kids don't go to school and blah 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 because we're not really a, a state that's prepped for that so that's for texas as far as arizona um the same thing would happen here because we're just you know well i shouldn't say arizona i should say phoenix area because in northern arizona flagstaff and sedona it does get cold and there's snow it's like a completely it's, it's like a completely different ball game there it's like full-blown winter all right because it's the north all right so let's talk about what does it say here our sports still talking about cost of living um child care seems to be a little bit more expensive in texas but you know it's, it's really similar okay here rent okay for example phoenix for a one-bedroom apartment near city center 
in a city center, you're looking at about 1200 versus Dallas, about 1500 A three-bedroom, you're looking at 2000 versus Dallas, 3000 And all this really depends on where. This is it's a city center, so I'm, I'm thinking that, I'm assuming that's like the downtown area. And then outside of the center, outside of the city, you know, it's a little bit cheaper, as you can see. Um, salaries, it seems like... Um, salaries and financing like income wise it's higher in dallas texas according to what i see here yeah so uh this is just like a quick overview uh, um that i have here so whew, let me know if you like this video if you want me to do more of these voice over you know type videos and i'll work on it it's like 11 p.m. so I'm going to bed. See you next time. Make sure you thumbs up, subscribe, and holla at me on you know social media. I'm on Instagram at Deborah Kabong. Peace. Original.